I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your Snapshot Report Sagittarius for week of June the 29th. So Mercury is still right there opposite you in your area of relationships. So there's a good chance that you'll have some discussions going on with somebody of a deep and meaningful nature. Okay, now this is a great week. We have a lot of beneficial aspects this week. So I'm hoping that something fabulous will happen for you, but particularly as my, as my uh, ascendant is a Sagittarius. So uh, I have a vested interest in what happens with, with Sagittarians. Um, now there are uh, there are towards the end of the week, the fourth, fifth, and the second, fourth, and fifth. Uh, and I'm looking at Greenwich time here, so it could be slightly different for local time in in New York, where I'm broadcasting from. Um, uh, there are three so three aspects with Mercury. Now, first one is with uh, Uranus, and then with Jupiter, and then with the Venus, because Jupiter being your ruling planet. So anything that happens with Jupiter is very influential to you. Um, now, first of all, with the Uranus, this also is in a very personal area, area where love affairs can start. So if you're not happily arm in arm with someone, there's been a lot of activity recently in your area of relationships. So chances are that some of you have got together uh, with someone who does appear to be a perfect partner. I hope so. Um, but if you haven't, you get another opportunity this week. And it can all start from a conversation. Of course, you know, Sagittarius are very intellectual, very knowledgeable. So you need to be able to have a conversation, of me a meaningful conversation rather than a frivolous conversation uh, with someone for it to, you know, go to the next stage. Um, now there is uh, the full moon is in your solar second house and area of money and right, which means for a full moon that the sun and the moon are in opposite signs. So the moon is there, so it could be a little bit changeable. Uh, you get a chance to re look at your finances and um, reevaluate how you, you know, what you're doing with them. Other people can certainly help you. The Mars and the sun are in your second money house. Uh, be careful that you don't get talked into anything though that you're not quite clear about. You want to make sure that somebody doesn't put undue pressure on you to make a decision before you're ready. Now I'm leaving the best to last. Your ruling planet Jupiter is in a very beneficial advantageous connection with Venus. So Venus Jupiter conjunct in the same degree in the sign of Leo in ninth house and of course the ninth house is the area of the solar chart that that your sign rules okay or rules your sign. So this is great for getting things together to move forward, great for your long term plans. Something can come out of the blue this week that really just puts a huge smile on your face. Yay, let's hope so. I'm ready for it, which I suspect all of you are too. So let me know what happens. I hope uh, you know something amazing happens for all of you and um, all of us Sagittarian rising people as well. So love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.